I've never done an about me. I've never told you guys like who I am. Have I ever done that? I've never just sat down and be like, hi, I'm Sarah. I'm not even Sarah Sienna. Sienna's not my surname. Wow. This is about to be deep. <laughs> month where I try and so far every year I've failed but I'm really like I genuinely do try to upload a new video every day. I've been uploading quite a lot recently but the special-ish kind of thing about September is that it's my birthday month. It's my birthday on the 7th of September and um, so I just make a big deal of it in kind of just sharing more of my life with you guys. Celebrating the fact that God has allowed me to see another year by sharing more, just sharing more. Things that I'm passionate about, more of the things that I love. It's just a good excuse basically to upload more. <laughs> um, so yeah, this year I will be turning 26. I think that this is actually my third attempt at a September. <laughs> so I've been uploading to YouTube on this channel for about almost three years. It's just coming up to three years. Thank you so much for joining no matter when you joined. And one thing that I did realize is that in those three years, I've never done an about me. I've never told you guys like who I am. Have I ever done that? I think like little bits have come out in different parts of my videos, but I've never just sat down and be like, hi, I'm Sarah. I'm not even Sarah Sienna. Sienna's not my surname. Wow. This is about to be deep. <laughs> If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure that you click subscribe for all the new videos that I will be uploading this September. And let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And um, so I think the way that I will do this about me, instead of asking for a Q&A, is that I'm just going to do Google about me tag. Um, new YouTubers, this is a must-do tag video. Okay, boring, just give me the questions. 2019 extended tag questions. Okay, I'm probably not gonna do the extended ones. Sorry, by the way, if it's getting dark. It is like 8 p.m. and the sun is setting, but I just prefer natural daylight than switching these on, so it'll just cast a shadow. And although I'm a YouTuber, I don't use lights, <laughs> which I really should. It's just so much effort and they're so hot. Anyway, that's not why you clicked on this video. Oh, do you know what really annoys me? User privacy pre preferences on the internet. Like whoever made this law that I have to be asked on every website I go to, I wish I could just save it all. No, I don't want personal ads. Save to the whole of the internet and that is done. Someone needs to make an app for that. If Ifyok, Ifyok is my brother, by the way, which you might get to know in this tag. He also makes apps. If Ifyok, make an app for that. Why haven't you made an app for that? Okay, so get to know me tag. Question number one, where did you grow up? I grew up in Pontypridd, South Wales, the Valleys. Where do you currently live? I currently live in Cardiff, which is in South Wales. Let me just turn down this brightness, it's really illuminating. I currently live in Cardiff in South Wales and I, I love it. I'm so grateful to God, I really do love it. Number three, who is your best friend? Oh, my sisters, Yammer and Kimmer. How tall are you? I am five foot three and a half, but actually, the half is a lie because when I did my <laughs> body fat measurements and my BMI, if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. They told me I was actually five foot three without the half. I just think they were wrong, to be honest. Sorry, very accurate test system, NASA use it, but I'm, I've been five foot three and a half my whole life. What am I, slouching? Dogs or cats? Dogs. Definitely dogs. Funniest moment throughout high school. There was this one time in PE lesson when this guy did a long jump off of two feet and the whole school like cried with laughter. You know, it was definitely the whole school, like teachers included, that were laughing, but probably even worse in that case. But basically, you know when you do long jump, you take off with one leg? Well, he took off with two, <laughs> sorry, it's not funny. Took off with two feet and just kind of head first jumped into the sand pit. It was hilarious, um, but I shouldn't say that because that's mean. Poor guy, if he ever watches this, he'll be like, wow, is that your defining high school moment? And I'll be like, yep. <laughs> but another funny moment, me and my friend, my best friend Pooja, we had this time where for some reason we were just saying the word combustion really weird. We'd, we'd just say the word combustion. I know that doesn't sound funny, but we cried over that for like a good week. And there are videos somewhere on one of my old laptops filming ourselves saying the word combustion and it was hilarious. What year were you born? I was born in 1993. I really like that number for some reason because it's seven years away from the millennium and seven is a whole number and I'm the seventh member of my family, but whatever, that's just like the weird math, you know, 
lever in my head. Um, number eight, are you in slash have you gone to college? Oh, that's my ID. Why do I have like a mom phone case? It used to light up with LED lights, um, so it was cool, but it doesn't do that anymore because it got wet, so... Now it's just a mom phone case. I think that might mean a different thing in the US than it does here in the UK. So my college was like a sixth form, which is where you go before you do your degree. So I went to college when I was 17, 18. What is your favorite drink? Water. Oh my gosh, <laughs> literally water. Water and Fanta, Fanta fruit twist if I'm feeling spicy, but I just, water is so refreshing. I've literally trained myself to be addicted to water when I'm thirsty. All I want is a cold, tall glass of Welsh tap water because Welsh tap water is genuinely better than any other water. I, I would rather have water from my kitchen tap than from a fresh stream. Anyway, what is your spirit animal and why? Um, I don't have a spirit animal. I'm a Christian, so the Holy Spirit lives in me, thank you. You're, <laughs> you're wearing perfume, what scent is it? Diamonds by Armani, no, Emporio Armani. I don't know, it's the one that Beyonce advertised like years ago. I don't think she does advertise it anymore, but it's just so delicious. And what I decided was that I would wear the same perfume for like this kind of chunk of my life, this pre-kids chunk. Um, because one time my dad bought my mum a perfume from their youth when they had met when they were in their 20s and she was so happy she loved it she was like oh, it smells like that time of my life and she was remembering all these things and I was just like wow smells are powerful I want that so I had my teenager smell which was Jean-Paul Gaultier the body one and now I'm on this diamond type so you know we'll carry on with that for about five years tea or coffee coffee very much coffee this one time someone just made me a tea without asking if I wanted tea or coffee and I was like wow thank you and I looked at the tea and I was like wow I really wish that was a coffee so yeah, definitely coffee. What are your life goals? Ooh. To know God, to live the life that God wants me to live. Is that, is that cheesy or sad? That is genuinely what I think like the ultimate life would look like. Like everything else fades and passes away, but knowing God is eternal. So yeah, to please and love God. Ah, oh, that was awesome. It's like genuine progress. <laughs> What sports do you play or have you played? Oh, back in school I played a bit of netball, played a bit of rugby. Athletics though has been my bay for life. Sprint hurdles specifically. I did multi-events for a while, then sprint hurdles. Number 15, have any books you read changed your life? It's <laughs> gonna say the Bible, eh? <laughs> Oh, this is a really holy tag, but I like that about me, and it's all about God. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the Bible. Um, Hmm, I don't read as much anymore. Well, I listen to audiobooks, but they're mainly like self-help books rather than fiction. But when I was like a youth, I don't know, 12, 10, something, I read Noughts and Crosses by Marley Blackman, and that book really did change my life. Like, it helped me to see myself as, you know, I grew up in a very predominantly white society, and all around you, beauty was white. Everything was kind of based on Caucasian preferences. Um, and that book just, it's kind of like this world where you imagined, wow, imagine if it was, if it was backwards. Imagine if the heroine, the beautiful heroine was someone who looked like me. And it just kind of helped me see, see value in myself, um, which was something that, you know, my mum instilled in me, but to have someone else say to you that you're beautiful too, like Sefi was the main character. She had Afro hair, she was beautiful. Like it just, it was cool. It was cool. Thank you, Marley Blackman. I think you helped probably not only me, but a lot of other young girls across the UK and probably the world. So yeah, Noughts and Crosses changed my life. What is your favourite movie? Mm, oh, you can never pick one. It depends on your mood. A film that I've just kept watching, which I'm going to stop watching, because I think as a single young woman, it is making me kind of just you know, fantasize too much, but to all the boys I've loved before, it's just the cutest rom-com. Rom it is so cute. I don't know what it is. It's on Netflix. It's so cute, but that's not my favorite film. Um, I love The Lion King. I think it's got everything. It's got everything. It just, every young child needs to watch The Lion King to learn about life, about loyalty, about who you are. Remember who you are, Simba. Oh, the betrayal. So yeah, The Lion King, Shawshank Redemption, The Hunger Games trilogy was pretty badass. Um, yeah, that's it for now. 
Who are my favourite YouTubers? Ooh, um, my, I'm gonna say guilty pleasure just because it doesn't seem like I would, I don't know, I don't know what you think, but Tammy Hembro, her back in the day vlogs with Reese, um, I used to really love. They were just so chilled and they just lived this like, you know, seemingly perfect life and you just watch them do the, just get some food or have fun or just, it was just weirdly soothing. I really loved them. Another YouTuber who, <laughs> Who I'm gonna be honest, gonna be honest, as a medical doctor, you may not expect me to watch, but Emma Chamberlain, I find I just find it funny. I'm sorry, I think she's funny. I love Patricia Bright, she's hilarious. Um Andrea's Choice from back in the day. If I could bring back one YouTuber, it would be Andrea's Choice. She is so beautiful and she's just, I loved her videos. Me and my sister would just chain watch her videos. Oh, we miss you, Andrea. Come back. Do you speak any languages and how well? Ugh, English very well and that's the only one I speak fluently which it, I honestly find embarrassing. I think that in a couple of years I'm probably gonna, well depending on what I'm doing with my life, but I would like to take a couple of years to dedicate myself to learning other languages. Um, I speak a tiny bit of Welsh just enough to convince someone that I speak Welsh and then it, it gets awkward because they start speaking to me in Welsh and I'm like what are you saying? Um, a little bit of French and yeah that's it. Are you single or taken? I'm single. slide into my DMs or maybe don't unless like I don't know unless you want it <laughs> what is your idea of your dream date I don't know I feel like back in the day I would have probably had some dream scenario but honestly my dream date would just be like falling in love with someone like meeting someone and being like and just like clicking and really hitting it off and and just having those conversations where that you are like super excited and but not only that because you know I'm quite a strong believer that actually falling in love with someone is different than choosing a life partner like just because you're in love with someone doesn't mean they'll make a great life partner so falling in love with someone who is also a great life partner I think that's my, like it literally we could be at McDonald's we could be at McDonald's or we could be sailing the seven seas maybe on holiday actually i do get a buzz when i'm on holiday i just feel so alive when i'm traveling and um, so maybe if i was abroad somewhere and then met the love of my life as long as they lived back in cardiff so it was or like in the uk at least so it was like you know it wasn't like a dead end romance anyway <laughs> that's my that's how i want to meet the one <laughs> How long was your longest relationship? Just under two years. How would you describe your fashion sense? Confused. Just confused. Some days I will dress like a middle-aged mother of three and other days I will dress like a 16 year old who is not only gonna steal your bike but probably steal your man too. I don't know. I don't know, basically. I don't know what my style is. I would describe it as what I want to wear. I will wear whatever. What is your go-to hairstyle? Not this, to be honest. I was kind of thinking of changing it for the video. Um, I think it is two bits down at the front and the rest tied up. That's my go-to. That's my go-to. Number 24, how many siblings do you have? I am the youngest of five and I just thank God for them every day. I love, I'm so grateful to God for my family. I love my siblings so much. I always say I had like a lot of struggles growing up and stuff, but relative and I just feel like I grew up in a bubble. Like they were just my best friends, my protectors in a way. They just always looked after me. Yeah, I'm the youngest of five. What is your go-to fast food order? Ugh, I know this so well. It's been changing a little bit recently, but if I had to put something on paper, it would be Texas barbecue, large Domino's pizza, um, swap the red onions for pepperoni with an extra large garlic and herb dip. Do you use PC or a Mac? I use a Mac because my brother gave me his. <laughs> lent me his. Sorry, if you Lent me. <laughs> yeah, you're getting that back. <laughs> Just kidding. You actually can have it back any time. Please don't take it back. <laughs> oh, like, I'm a fully grown council tax paying medical doctor and I will still rob my siblings. That, that's what it's like being the youngest. You just, you never have to grow up. It's great. <laughs> Your most memorable vacation memory. Oh. oh, oh, I get happy just thinking about it. So in fourth year of uni, I went on my elective. I did four weeks in Sri Lanka with some friends. And I did four weeks in Thailand on my own. 
I wanted to the whole time ride a motorbike for the whole time and I had an amazing time while I was in Thailand but I chickened out of riding a motorbike because I'd never ridden one before and I was terrified and it was literally like three days till I had to fly home or like four days or something um, and I was on the phone to my mum and I said I really want to rent a motorbike but I know I shouldn't it's dangerous and my mum was like Oh, that when she was younger she really wanted to ride a motorbike too and her dad didn't want her to but she did it anyway and she had the best time of her life and I was just like I can't be out YOLO'd by my own mother so I went I rented a motorbike and the friends that I had made in the hostel I was staying at they were all going out to this huge party but I was like I'm not going I'm staying in because tomorrow I'm going exploring on a motorbike so I rented a motorbike I drove around Koh Phangan, Koh Phangan, however you pronounce it, and I explored all the other beaches, so not just the full moon beach, which is what I was kind of there for, um, I went to all the other beaches, I found a secluded, uh, insanely white beach, it was just, it was incredible, there were times I was terrified because the hills were way too steep, I met these random people, it was just honestly one of the best days of my life, it really was, so thank you mummy for encouraging me to, to be as wild as you were. As if you rode a motorbike when grandpa told you not to. My goodness, I need to step it up. <laughs> what are your morning and evening routines? Oh, that is a long question. At the moment, my morning routine is a bit all over the place because my work hours have varied so much. Um, but yeah, pray, read my Bible. I have breakfast before I brush my teeth. Apparently that's weird. Um, coffee, um, makeup. I don't know, I'll do a video on that. How about that? Do you have any bad habits? Yes, but not ones I want to say on YouTube. Um, what are my bad habits? Putting clothes on the floor. I just put clothes on the floor. I don't know why I do that. I just take clothes off and I put them on the floor instead of hanging them up. And then every evening or every second day, I have to go and pick up all my clothes and hang them up. Like, I'm a grown woman, Sarah. Just put your clothes away as you take them off. Anyway, that's a bad habit. Tell us one thing that we wouldn't know. Ooh. I used to have a music YouTube channel on here and for a good couple of years of my life all I wanted to be was a singer and I busked and did various gigs around the UK. That's one thing. I've already just told you that Sienna is not my surname so if you knew my real surname then you could potentially find that channel or other singing videos but yeah that's something you might not have known. I really like Music is a big part of my life. It's not something I share much on this channel, but I love singing, yeah. There are more questions, but we'll save them for another day because it is actually getting dark and my camera is struggling to pick the light up. <laughs> so sorry about that. Thank you so much for watching and for being my internet friends. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed learning some stuff about me. Um, I feel like I didn't really tell that much. Maybe I'll have to do a part two of this. If you want a part two and me to do the rest of those questions, then just let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe and join me on this super exciting adventure of September. Join me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Check out my blog. I'm genuinely grateful for all the love that you choose to show me. I do not take it for granted. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.